Okay, so I'm going to show you the proper way to remove the sound off dome light or ticket light or what a police light or whatever you want to call it, the standard equipment inside the, um, the Dodge Charger police cars. Pretty much every single police car since the 1950s has some kind of dome light. This is the modern flavor with the LEDs and whatnot. Anyways, so you'll see that the switch is facing back. I'm sitting on the driver's side. Um, the notch is cut this way. So what we're going to do is we're going to slide back to loosen the forward clip. And then we're going to slide down and forward that way. And then the thing's gonna, just going to come out like that. And you can see the shape that it's cut. So it's kind of like facing the uh, passenger side window a little bit. Um, the clip in here was actually glued down to the uh, inner part of the um, headliner. So I had to stick my fingers in there and carefully wiggle that without breaking the connector to get it free to this point. Um, I have another one of these and I was thinking of actually just cutting the same shape back here. There's, there's no support or anything, it's just the, um, the thickness of the, um, of the, of the headline, the foam headliner itself is what holds this thing in. So I was thinking of adding one in the back seat since in the, um, in the police car it doesn't come with the, um, the, the back seat lights are actually in the handles on the top there. See that the pull down handle sort of thing? Now, I removed those blanks, and you can put the normal handles from a Chrysler 300 or a stock Dodge Charger. However, the wiring isn't there for the little light that goes in there. So you'd have to, you'd have to tap it into the, um, the courtesy light or the welcome light or whatever you call it of the, of the door, either with a relay or right onto that circuit. So that's an option. Or I'll just put another police dome light up here and... Um, wire it into that door circuit or just wire it to this one so I can have it on and off as I choose. Um, but anyway, that's the proper that's the proper way to remove this light. I'll give you a part number here in case any of you are looking for it. To put it back in, basically reverse the operation. First put in the larger side and you're going to slide it back and you're going to see that moves it in a position where the forward clip can be placed and then go forward slightly so that way both um, both clips are rested on just outside of the uh, of the lip. Of course, tuck the wire in, go back, and then slightly forward, and then it's going to lock in. Don't pull it or try and twist it or anything because that's not the proper way to remove it. It's back, pull down, and forward, and to put it back in, back, push up, and then slightly forward. That's it.